Hello class! Good morning! So for today, we're going to talk about prime factorization. So what is prime factorization? In fact, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Alright, so let's talk about prime factorization. So when a number is expressed as a product of prime numbers, it is called prime factorization. Okay? So by the way, kung hindi nyo pa alam kung ano yung prime numbers, mayroon tayong video about prime numbers and composite numbers. I'll put the link below para masundan nyo at mas lalo nyo maintindihan ang prime factorization. Right? So, again, ano... A number is expressed as a product of prime numbers that is called prime factorization. So here, in the prime factorization class, we're going to break up the number into its factors. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung isang given number, at, um, kukunin natin yung bawat factor niya na iyon hanggang sa umabot tayo sa prime numbers. Okay? So, for example, 99. So, prime factorization, ang gagawin natin is to break up the number 99, this number, into its factors. And then, paulit-ulit lang natin yung gagawin until all the factors ay prime numbers na lang. Or until yung may um, umabot tayo sa mga factors na puro prime numbers na lang. Wala nang composite numbers. Okay? So, what? Here, we can use a three method. Ayan. So, first step of na gagawin natin is, think of two numbers that if we multiply, it will give us 99 as a product. Okay? Or in other words, mag-isip ka ng dalawang factor ng 99. Okay? Or dalawang number na kapag i-multiply natin, ang sagot is 99. Yes. Use 9. 11. Because 9 times 11 is 99. Okay? So, sabi kanina, sa prime factorization, we're going to break up the number. Alright? Into factors. Hanggang sa yung factors niya ay prime numbers na lang lahat. So, kung mapasin nyo, itong sa 11 ay prime number na siya. Diba? Pero si 9, composite number pa siya. Okay? So, ano yung composite number? Composite number are number are numbers that have more than two factors. Okay? So, prime number naman ay number na mayroon lamang dalawang factor. Okay? So, si 9 may composite number pa siya. So, therefore, kukunin pa natin ulit yung factor ni 9. So, sa so, mga factor ni 9, ayan, Continue the process until we get all the factors as prime numbers. So, gaya na sinabi ko, ulitin lang natin sa pag-factor until umabot tayo sa mga prime numbers. Okay? So, sin since the 11 prime number na siya, hindi na natin siya gagalawin. Pero si 9, composite number pa siya, so i-factor pa natin siya. And factor ng 9 is 3 times 3. Okay? So, si 3 naka-prime number na. Si 3, naka-prime number na. At si 11, naka-prime number na. So, therefore, the prime factors of 99 are 3, 3, and 11. So, kung mapansin nyo, if we're going to multiply 3 times 3, that is 9, times 11, that is 99. Alright? So, because you know, factor, siya yung mga numbers na i-multiply natin to give us the product na yun yung number na yun mismo. Okay? So, here, ito yung mga prime factors ng 99. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung mga factors na ito, wala na siya ibang factors, kundi 1 at itself lang. Itong si 3, 1 and 3 lang, and si 11, 1 and 11 lang. Okay? So, yun yung mga prime factors ng 99. Another example is we have 100. So, gaya ng ginawa natin dito sa 99, mag-isip muna tayo ng dalawang number, kapag i-multiply natin, it will give us 
100 as a product. Okay? So, pwedeng 2 times 50. Ayan. Pwede rin naman tayong gumamit ng 10 times 10. Pwede rin yun. As long as kailangan magpatuloy natin sa pag-factor hanggang umabot tayo sa prime number. So, since ito si 2 ay prime number na, so hindi na natin siya gagalawin. And si 50 ay composite number pa, so sti we still need to get the factor of 50. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng 5 times 10. So, si 5, si 5 ay prime number na. Pero si 10, composite number pa. So, mag-isip pa tayo ng factor ni, fa ni 10. Okay? So, we have 2 times 5. Kaya napansin nyo, si 2 prime number na. Si 5 prime number na. So, ito si 2, si 5, si 2, and another 5 are all prime number. Okay? So, therefore, ang prime factors ng 100 are 2, 2, 5, and 5. Yun yung prime factors ng ating 100. So, again, dito sa prime factorization, we break up the number into factors and then we continue the process until we get all the factors as prime numbers. Okay? So, pinafactor natin yung given hanggang sa umabot tayo sa factors na lahat ng mga numbers ay prime number na. Alright, class? And take note that 1 is neither prime nor composite number. And 2 is the smallest prime number. And 2 is the only even prime number. So, that's all for today, class. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Thank you!